starts from, you know, the well. And we had drilled the well uh, in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. And then we built that new facility around it. Uh, you know, the well just wasn't there. We had to we had to drill yeah. into it, and it's a private source water um, into the Garber Wellington. And so we pulled that water um, out of the Garber Wellington aquifer, and it then goes into um, our distillers. And so those distillation units, they superheat the water, and it vaporizes um, the water to where water that doesn't have any impurities in it will be siphoned off into another holding tank yeah. and then the and the water that has impurities in it still will just kind of be flushed and run back through the municipal system after uh we have collected the purified dis distilled water uh, we run it through uh, one micron filtrations which is a fancy word of saying really really small filters that yeah. um get out any other uh, nitty gritty stuff that um, the distillation units may have missed. Mm -hmm. uh, after the multi barrier filtration process, uh, it'll hit um, ozonation, which helps clean the water further. It'll get hit with um, UV, uh, ultraviolet rays, to also help further clean it. And, mm -hmm. um, and then we add uh, minerals. Um, back to taste for drinking water. Gotcha. We wouldn't add minerals back to distilled water because distilled water is free of yeah, any yeah. impurities. Yeah. And then once we add minerals back, we finally collect it in one of those really tall uh, holding tanks, and they can hold about 60,000 gallons, which is quite a, so much water. <laughs> very, yeah, it's, it's a ton. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll darn near go through half that holding tank just in – a couple of weeks that's uh, crazy, we, we run a lot of water um and yeah that's and when they're in those holding tanks they're they're ready to go